what's up guys it's savage man's is not so i'm back to reset in this video i'm recording club penguin again so basically in club penguin again i'm going to be showing you guys the medieval party um yeah the medieval party walkthrough again on club penguin again um yes yeah, so this is going to be part three i have made i had i did make part one and two in the previous videos like in other videos before um yeah, I did make part one and two. Now I'm gonna make part three. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, from the last two walkthroughs, I did show you guys um, the coffee shop, the nightclub, and then um, all of the series ski hill, ski village, beach, dock, and the town, I think. And I think I showed you guys the market. Oh yeah, also, by the way, this is actually an alt account I made on Club Penguin again. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool all just like my other account, but it's just an alt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah, these are just stuff you can buy in the catalog. Um, this is actually the catalog going on right now for Club Penguin again. Yeah, and then, but there's not really anything in the gift shop, it's just that. Um, yeah. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys the, um, snow forts. I think I left off with the snow forts. Alright, so yeah, basically at the snow forts, there's three, there's three, these three teams. Um, there's yellow, red, and blue. Um, just like on Frosty, I showed you guys. Um, yeah, it's so basically each each fort has like some type of cannon thingy so it has like the machine cannon um thingy that like of the snowball machine thingy um yeah so like that like similar to like or basically the same exact thing to the walk that i showed you guys on frosty um yeah this is part three of the clip room again do a part of walkthrough um yeah so then also there's also this clock tower the clipping wind time the clock tower for the clipping wind times um yeah the clipping wind time zone um yeah so it's 10 41 obviously and then you can just throw your snowball you can throw snowballs at the clock target and yeah it's just it's not of it just being a road clock tower it's like a wheel it's like a wagon thingy or I'm not sure exactly what it is but it's pretty cool it also says U arena with the whole stadium or like it's a it's basically like an ice rink the ice rink but it's like completely different to the regular ice rink so yeah um so this is basically there's no forts and when you come to state well this is basically a stadium for now um yeah so this is what it looks like it looks completely completely different to the regular stadium you know how there's like bullseyes and there's like the um there's like farm thingies I like yeah there's like hay and then have the wheel what and then we have like some type of this sort of wagon thingy and then we have the benches where you can watch the medieval fight this is like a medieval fight and this is like like where you just battle i guess and then these are the referees right here so yeah it's pretty cool and there's like a bunch of flags there's flags and there's an entrance this is also the sport catalog because this is don't consider like a stadium or like an ice rink even if it looks completely different from the medieval party and i don't even think it's working at the moment because i'm just clicking on it and it's just giving me an infinite load so yeah and then so that's basically it's the yee arena actually that's what it's called exactly so yeah that's pretty cool so now I'm going to show you guys the plaza, um, if the plaza is going to load, hold on. Alright guys, sorry about that, I'm back, so yeah, anyways, hold on. Alright, sorry about that guys. But yeah, anyways guys, so, um, basically, I'm going to be so continuing on more, um, with the medieval party on Club Penguin again. So yeah, anyways, um, so basically the plaza is working right now, so I just have to skip, so I just have to go to the forest. So I'm going to show you guys that space get the forest, but you come here, as you can see, you can throw a snowball at the bullseye. And then, um, you see these two trees with, like, some type of staircase or, like, a ladder, I guess. Um... So yeah, and there's also a little river you can cross the bridge. Um, so yeah, basically, um, you can just go up to the, you can just go up the trees, and then once you go up here, um, you can. Oh wait, they actually have this music. Um, you're basically you can basically be in the tree chops. Um, you also there's also another bullseye right here you can throw, um, and there's also Korean Serta. There's a can, and the way to go back down to go back down the tree. And, um, yeah, this is like a little treehouse thing, and there's also a puffle, um, sneaking out if you actually hover your mouse over it, um, it's the blue puffle, and then it says quest 3 available, which I think I will show you guys the quest, um, after I show you guys this stuff, so yeah, this is a pretty cool treetop, as you can see, there's like some type of border thingy, and yeah, and then this is like an actual treehouse, and some cream soda as well, so yeah, that's the treetop, so yeah, and that's the actual forest, and then I'm gonna show you guys the cove so right here at the cove um 
that's not the bullseye you can throw at it. It's actually right on a log. And yeah, there's a log right here. And then, um, if you actually want to play Catching Waves, instead of it just being like a normal, like, tent or like some sort of house, it's actually, um, built into a tree, which is really cool. And then, as you see, there's cream sodas. And there's also this ladder you can go up, which, I mean, there's a tree. There's this little border thingy or some type of thingy you can stand on. And then you just go back down the ladder. Um, and the surfboards are not just like any regular surfboard, they're actually medieval surfboards, but they are in regular surfboards when you're actually buying them, which I guess I can buy them right now. And you can even buy the secret one, which I already have. And yeah, so one's like blue, one's yellow, one's red. Um, so yeah, they all look like pretty cool medieval surfboards, and I like how, um, when you want to play Catch of Waves, it looks like an actual tree. Yeah, and then, um... Yeah, and then the cream sodas, and then there's this cool thing right here. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the cove. Though, so, yeah, there's also a bunch of trees around here. There's a bunch of trees at the cove. That's pretty nice as well. Um, so yeah, and then the mine shack. Once you come to the mine shack, um, this is what it looks like. This is like a little rock. This is like piles of rock right here that make it into like a cave entrance like not just like a regular mine but like it's made built into like rocks and like yeah it's pretty cool there's also the obviously the mine carts going into the mine and there's also this table with like fish and that's i think that's pizza right there and then there's also a pot right here there's like this little house with a chair and then there's also lots of grass and you can also i think you can pick up this print this um pink hat thingy actually oh wait no i guess you can't this is herbert right here and then there's barrels and then there's um a bag of grass and yeah there's there's these border thingies um yeah or these type of wood thingies you can walk on i'm not sure exactly what they're called there's also this yeah there is this yeah i should show you guys this house and then there's a bunch of trees this tree is actually really big back here and the recycling pan is not just like a normal recycling pan. it looks like really different um it's like some type of smashing it's like some type of woodworking shop yeah it's like a wood shop right here almost i think um yeah it's like it's like changed into a completely different thing like a wood shop and yeah and there's just this cool cave entrance but first i'm going to go into recycling plant to see that out yeah so once you come in here um there's it looks like a normal recycling plant but it's like almost like a wood shop because it's like a, it's like a medieval thing okay yeah that's annoying okay so, sorry uh, okay that's oh that's really loud Oh my god, I was like, what the heck? Okay, that's really- Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna do a lot of the thing you do. Yeah, just that. But anyways, um... So, anyways, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff in here, like... The recycling plant's not just a normal recycling plant, it's like almost like a medieval recycling plant. Yeah, it's like a medieval recycling plant where you just throw the medieval trash into the machine, and then it just does that. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's also this black puffle speaking. And then there's these shields right here you can buy, and there's this torch. So, yeah, and then there's also the steel stuff. Um, just There's lots of stuff in here. It's basically like a medieval recycling plant, which is pretty cool. There's also a fire. Yeah, but that thing was really loud, and it was kind of annoying, I guess. But yeah. But, um, no, 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 but it's still fun. All right, anyways, once you come into the mine, there's another Switchbox 3000, just like at the stage. Um, this is like the stage, wait, I'm not sure if the plaza, I think after this video I'm going to check if the plaza is working, and if it was, it is working, I'm going to show you guys that, maybe like, tomorrow, maybe, yeah, like sometime tomorrow, I guess, yeah, so I'm probably going to show you guys in the middle of the video, we'll walk through tomorrow, um, yeah, but anyways, um, there's this thing right here, you can just operate the switch box, and then this dragon will breathe fire, let me just show you guys, and then you can just operate everything, just press all the buttons on the switch box. And then the dragon is just gonna like, there's this huge dragon that's just gonna like, whenever the certain things you touch on the switch box, um, the dragon's gonna do with like, wagging its tail or breathing fire. That's pretty cool. And the mine, and the kit, and the mine looks like a lot different to just the regular mine. There's like, it's kind of like the walls are made out of rocks and like there's crystals, which is pretty cool as well. And obviously you can play cart surfer. So yeah, and then yeah, the ground is made of rocks. Everything here is just made of complete rocks and there's some crystals. There's not just like a normal cave, but it looks just, a, if you can actually tell, it looks a bit different than the 